Hello YouTubers, this is Alan B. May, and today I'm going to demonstrate Zubuntu Lucid Links 10.04, the second beta that, re that was released on April the 8th, 2010. I'm I installed this on my eMachines T1100. As you can see, it's a Pentium 3, 1 gigahertz, uh, using the Intel 810 chipset, including the uh, video. 512 megabytes of RAM and a 40 gig hard drive and I installed it flawlessly on the machine and as you can see in the window to the right it's booting up it took a minute and 14 seconds to boot on this machine and as far as I could tell it it ran flawlessly but a little bit slow so after this boots up the next screen you'll see will be what I recorded with GTK recording my desktop to show some of the features of uh, the new version of Zubuntu or the XCFE lightweight desktop. What was interesting was that the previous, the last two versions of Ubuntu would not boot on this machine. There was a problem with the video, but there's no problem with 1004. So here we are with recording my desktop. And right away there were 82 updates available. And the beta is only one day old. So here are some new settings. Uh, the video was even better than before. I can get 1152 by 864, 75 megahertz, 75 hertz of refresh rate. And here are the different themes that are available. Uh, some of these I can barely tell them apart. But I'm a normally I'm favorable to uh, the clear looks. But the albatross themes that is the the default theme looks pretty good to me so that's what I'll stick with on this particular demo uh, some of these things you wonder where they got them from so I'm gonna switch back to Albatross and continue on with the demo um, here's some of the applications that are available here uh, Solitaire Owl Riot. Uh, got to have that. That's a essential. Again, as in previous versions of uh, 10.04, you can tell that they borrow some style cues from Linux Mint. Here's the file manager, the Thunar file manager, compared to uh, Nautilus and Dolphin and Conqueror. It's, it's very fast. I don't have any images to show the previews, but uh, from past experience, it's very fast. Here's an a audio mixer. I'm just going to load up a few programs just to get a a feel about how it runs under a load. Abbey Word instead of Open Office. Gonna have the system monitor here. Um, it's funny, uh, Zubuntu doesn't use its its own uh, task manager. Lubuntu uses the uh, XCFE task manager which was pretty lightweight but they use the GNOME task manager here which is um, much greater load on the CPU. So I have a browser open, a word processor, the monitor, a mixer and you can see my load right at a hundred percent. Look at the swap so far of course, this is a 512 megabyte machine. Uh, 
496 usable RAM. Lower up the software center here just to put a little bit more low. At this point, this video doesn't really show it, but the system is getting rather sluggish right now. Uh, even though I only use 198 megabytes of memory, I'm, I'm, my swap is already 164 megabytes. And of course, if I were running this on the machine with more memory, of course I wouldn't notice any, it would be pretty snappy. Um, memory is more important than even processor speed. Here's the software center. I'm not going to install anything right now. This is interesting. The swap decreased almost immediately. The version of uh, Ubuntu I'm running now on my main desktop, Johnny Jackalope, uh, the swap normally stays at its highest point until you reboot. But overall, it's a pretty good system. Very attractive, uh, responsive until you add uh, a lot of different processes, a lot of different applications. Uh, of course, if you increase the memory to one gig, you should have a pretty snappy system. But of course, that defeats the purpose of having a, a lightweight desktop.